Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Thursday, April 22nd, and I'm gonna start this morning's video with a little clip of a bird, a robin redbreast, who is building a nest in my backyard in a very silly spot. The bird has decided to make its nest on top of an outside light that's hanging on my house. And guess what? She did this last year too. So I was able yesterday to take a quick little video and she happened to come to the nest as I was videoing. So it's a little bit hard to see, but we're gonna start our morning with that video and then we're gonna come back and make a, a bird craft. I also wanted to point out that we have some very, very serious business going on on our floodlight. There is a bird, a robin redbreast, who is making a nest there. And I have seen a bird coming up to my kitchen window over and over again. There he is. Oh, there she is, I should say. Do you see that he has, oh, she has something in her mouth. She's busy building the nest. Try to get in a little closer. That's as close as it'll go. Let's watch what she does. Boys and girls, there's a little robin. Or a big robin building a nest. Let's see where she goes. She's probably going to get more grass, dried grass, to build the nest. I hope she finds that comfortable. I don't know. She's got a lot more to build. Welcome back, boys and girls. Um, I hope you liked the video of the robin making her nest, and I'll keep you posted if she's able to make the whole thing up there on the light. So in honor of all the birds in nature who are making their nests for spring, I thought we would make this bird craft. Simple instructions and simple ingredients. Paper, scrap paper cut into all different shapes. We have circles or ovals and, and triangles and half circles. And so let's get started. I cut a piece of newspaper into a circle and this will be the start of our nest. I'm gonna take some glue and I'm going to glue down this first part of the nest. Okay, then I'm gonna take some crayons in the color of dried grasses. So greens, dark greens and browns. I have lots of nice greens and browns that I can use for this, for the dark grass. And then I'm going to use my whole arm to make circles around the circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just as if it were the dried grass, dried leaves, whatever else the bird wants to use to make his nest. I'm using big muscles to make round circles of different colors. Lots of green in this one. I chose a lot of green. This is like a moss color. Maybe it's a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna go around and make this kind of motion too, see if I can get it to look even more like a nest. Okay. Hmm, that looks pretty good to me. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna make the body of the bird. Here we go. I'm gonna choose from my scrap paper that I have here. I think I'm gonna choose this pink piece of paper. It looks pretty big, so I'm gonna use this one. And I'm going to use a uh, marker or crayon of any, or of any sort, and I'm gonna make a circle, and then I'm gonna cut the circle in half. That's how I get my half circle. There's my circle, now I'm gonna cut it in half. Take my scissor, make sure the blade is pointing out away from my body. My thumb is facing up, and I can open and close, cutting that way. Here we go. I'm gonna hold the paper in my hand, and I'm gonna move the paper, but not really my hand with the scissor. All right, now I'm gonna come up this way, 
chomp, chomp, chomp. Turn this way, chomp, 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 chomp. Okay, going to get my glue stick and I'm going to glue down, making sure to get my corners. You can put it anywhere you want, but I'm going to put it right in the middle. Okay. Okay, the next thing I want to do, that's the body of the bird. I think I'm going to cut two triangles, one for the beak and one for the tail feathers. Hmm, I'm going to find some pretty colors. I think I'm going to do some blue and I think maybe orange for the beak. I have some smaller orange pieces. Okay, so now with this, I need to make two triangle shapes. Get a marker or a crayon. I'm going to use this one to be my bigger one. So here goes my three-sided triangle. One, two, three. And now I need a smaller one. One, two, three. Okay, and here we go. Chomp away. Chomp, 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 chomp. And guess what? I'm going to put some little snips in here like we like to do in three-year-olds class. Lots of little snips. Don't go all the way through. Okay, and these are like his little feathers. Okay, put that one down and cut this one. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Okay, let's see where we can put these. I'm going to put the tail feathers here and the beak right there. Get my glue, put a little bit of glue the tail feather, a little bit of glue for the beak, okay. Next thing I want to do is add some beautiful feathers on him, okay? So I'm going to pick out, I had some scrapbooking paper here that I thought was kind of neat. Here, check out this one. This was from an old piece of scrap paper from when I was doing some watercoloring. Okay, so I'm gonna do that half circle thing again. Ready, here we go. Here's the whole circle. Cut it in half. Now I'm going to use my scissors to cut that half. Okay, and let's put that one there. I think I'm gonna do another one, so I'm gonna cut that a second half. Pretty, pretty. Okay, put that one there. Okay, that'll do for now. Put these two, one, two, one, two. Hmm, I, may, I may add more to that for sure. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is I need to put an eye on him. I don't have a googly eye at home, so I'm gonna use some crayons and I'm going to make an eye. I'm gonna have him have a nice bright blue. I, so I'm going to make a circle and then an oval and I'm going to color in the eye. Okay. And then I'm going to use my crayons to decorate him even further by putting things like dots and lines just to show that he's got lots of feathers and lots of things that make him unique. Okay. Let's see. I think I'll try some of these. Maybe some dots all over. Okay. Hmm. Maybe put some feathers like this. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Lots of beautiful feathers that make him a beautiful bird. All right. Um, the last thing I want to do is I'm going to put some eggs. She's going to be on, maybe laying on her eggs, or the male one will be sitting on the eggs for her. Let's see. Do I have white paper? I do. I'm going to fold the paper. This is hot dog. And I'm going to make some half circles. Ready? Or actually half ovals. One, and two, and three. I'm going to use my scissors to cut. There's one egg. 
Use my scissor to cut up oh, another egg. Use another one. I'm going to make this one smaller. There's another egg. Three eggs is good. She'll sit on three eggs. And then I glue them down. One, two, three. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to make some leaves. Some green scrap paper. Now I'm going to make them in the shape of some leaves. One, two, three. Okay, that's the best I can do to make the shape of what I think a leaf looks like. And we cut. One, two, three. And I'm gonna just decide where these might go. Right about here, maybe. Okay, put my glue stick to use, do one, two, three. And I may use a brown to make some of the lines. To show these are leaves. The other thing I might do in here is I might use the same brown or some other browns to color in the rest of the nest. If you have watercolors, you could always use watercolors. You could watercolor in on the newspaper and that would look really, really cool too. Okay, for now I'm just going to color some in. Lots of practice, coloring, coloring, coloring. All right, there's my finished product. Again, mine is, might look very different from yours, but here is a bird in a nest.